Hey guys, I'm Kaylee. I'm 25 and I live off the grid in a caravan all by myself. Uh, this is why I decided to live in a van was because I was renting before and it was quite high and it was dead money. There was no way for me to save up for a deposit for property in the future renting and I tried to find a way for a couple of years and I was like a van. <laughs> I love camping and really it's like a tiny house on wheels, it really is. It's got everything that a house has but just really small <laughs> amount. Um, so yeah, I live in the van and it, the, you know, the repayments on this van is a lot less than renting and by the end of paying it off I will have, I could sell it and there's a deposit and I also have a lot of savings now because it's a lot cheaper to, for the repayments. Um, so I'll show you around. This is the bedroom. It came with a TV, a radio system. There's a lot of storage in this van and the windows are great. There's so many windows, including this lovely skylight that has a door. I have all my clothes in here. Heaps of space. It's great. And this is the kitchen. The fridge is quite small, but it's really perfect for myself or another person. If there was ever to be one, not looking good so far. <laughs> I keep all my food up here. And this is the lounge slash dining area. Say so hello, Bear. He's a little thirsty. <laughs> Got my Christmas tree up. Already. It's a wall tree, which is great. Doesn't take up any room. And my lovely view outside. I'm so blessed to be living here. Welcome to the bathroom. Full size ensuite with a shower. <laughs> As you can see, there is a lot of storage. So I'm living completely off the grid, which means um, the fridge, the gas stove, and the hot water system run off gas. Uh, I have two bottles at the front of the van. I have two solar panels and two batteries that run all the lights and um, you know the appliances, some of them, <laughs> 12 volt. I also have an inverter so I can run those um, 240 appliances as well and you know charge the laptop and which is really handy. Um, the black water, I have a rule, <laughs> there's only number ones, no twos, I time them for work. <laughs> and. Um, I'm quite blessed to have a sewage dumping area on this property, but otherwise, um, if I had to caravan places and stuff like that, or get the shovel out. <laughs> uh, the grey water, the grey water, I just run a hose out on the lawn and it soaks up nicely. There's no real mess about that at all. So yeah, um, that's pretty well it, I think. Um, have no regrets. I love living off the grid. It's quite easy and simple. There's no huge electricity bills or water bills at the end of it. Uh, the water tank too. Uh, I have a few jerry cans I fill up with water at work every day and fill them up. It's a 90 litre tank but it's perfect. Um, I do all my washing at work as well because there's no washing machine unfortunately in here but that's okay. Worst comes to worst. There's always a river down there. You can get scrubbing. <laughs> I'll show you the outside of the van. So this is the outside of the caravan. And there's a little there's geese under there. My little stove I got for camping. So it's really like a little house on wheels. I still love to go camping. I just call this my house. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys, I hope I've inspired you guys to look at doing the same thing and um, 
within eco really and light and it's just refreshing it's easy to keep clean can't fault it one bit um, one thing though is with the aircon and the microwave they do need a 240 so you do need to plug in but um, I have a generator so if I had to use it which I try to avoid um, yeah I always have that back up there hope you guys enjoyed this video and please leave some comments below if you have any questions and I'll get back to you thanks guys bye